What is up, Retro Maniacs? My name's Mike, his name's Joe, his name's EP, and we're here to talk about cards. I think Joe has a little game for us this week. I hope it is a little bit better than EP's last week. Joe, throwing it to you. Uh, first off, I, I don't know how I'm going to come back and compete. The bar. Follow up is EP's so amazing video low. that I love. Set, you could probably <laughs> physically jump over it. Yes. <laughs> Trick question. This one will be nowhere near as good as EP's, but we're going to try. We're going to try, buddy. Okay. All right. So I'm going to throw out uh, some questions for you boys. I want to hear uh, how you would answer them and why. So it's kind of an either or thing. Mm. Obviously, all the viewers down below comment what your answers would be and why as well. Okay, let's get started. Question number one. Would you rather have a base rookie card? And let's say values are the same, okay? Would you rather have a base rookie card of a player or say a fourth year auto, fifth year auto of that player? So base rookie card or an autograph of that player, but a non-rookie autograph. Mike, let's start with you. I think I'd rather have the autograph okay just why why what what's, what's I, I feel like it, at you for it i think it feels a little more special than a base rookie card um yeah i just i feel like it, it, just something a little more special than base rookie like even you know in the 90s there were a lot of different base rookie cards and i feel like now like they're way more so i feel like the autograph would be just a little more special dp what do you think Base rookie, I've collected. I mean, that's what I've collected all along. Like that's that is, like if, when I'm thinking about sets from the '90s, like I'm thinking about the rookie cards. That's what make, makes a set and doesn't make a set. And so my, I even like I'm I'm even talking like ultra modern. Like I'd rather have a, a Tyler Lockett base rookie card than I would have a Tyler Lockett autograph four years from you know whenever. Mm -hmm. Like that's just that's my I would rather collect that. So when I first started collecting, I was with EP on his answer. Now a little bit more. I'm. I, I agree with you, Mike. That I think the specialness, especially on card, like sticker. I'm still kind of an anti-sticker guy, but especially an on on card auto where the the athlete actually held it, autographed it. I I think that's where I'm kind of leaning now. But yeah, back in the day when I first started collecting, it was definitely the base the base rookies because that was the thing, right? That was yeah. you, you were mm -hmm. collecting his his best card, that player's best uh, base rookie card. So. All right, question number two. We're going to start with you, EP. Which one would you rather have? A cool-looking patch that has no, absolutely no affiliation with the player, the game, anything, or a doll-looking piece of jersey that is definitely, as best as we can assume, game-used. So a cool-looking patch card... Like, say it's a part of the NY for the New York Giants, right? Or for Mike, part of the Eagle, right? But it's not associated with any player or game or event. Or a game-used piece of jersey in a card. Which would you prefer? EP? I think there's a time and a place for the really nice-looking one. I'm going to choose the the game, actual game-used. Um, I prefer if that, all, that card also had on the back of it said where, where the game was from or, or whatever or mm -hmm. where, where it was worn. Like There's a couple cards that are like that, and that's my favorite way. But like the, I think there's a time and place for the other ones, but I'm, I'm going with the, the game-used. Like, I prefer the game-used. I, I think it's a better collectible. Mike? If anybody answers anything other than game-used... <laughs> on this show, I'm going to remove you, even if it's you, Joe, the host of the show. I'm removing you, and I'm removing you from the channel because you don't belong here. It has to be game used. Like, I don't give a flying monkey butt. Wow, how about that? Tell the show. Tell the show right there. Flying, a flying monkey, monkey butt, butt <laughs> about a patch card that's just a cool looking patch like ep said i'm sure it has a time and place but if you're putting it on a card for a player as a memorabilia card the whole point of memorabilia is it something that belonged to that player that they use so it has to be game used trick question i want a logo that is game used that's the right answer Okay, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, I'm with you guys. Game used all the way. Um, it's really, really sad that those cards have not, like, in, like held value. Like, people just 
prefer ultra modern people just prefer the look instead of the actual like nostalgia of a piece of jersey i bought a pedro martinez game used jersey card at the card show this past week for three dollars crazy right ridiculous crazy so all right this one i'm this is question number three i think you're gonna have completely different answers and i'm here for it i think all three of us are going to have completely different answers okay and this one is uh mike we're starting with you would you rather have one five thousand dollar card ten five hundred dollar cards or five hundred ten dollar cards and ep i'm going to add for you five thousand one dollar cards so those are your <laughs> options, okay? So one card worth five thousand, uh, ten cards worth five hundred. Can I ask a question? Yes. Are these for my personal collection, or can I sell? Yes, them? yes. As I wrote this question, I thought personal collection. Okay. I thought personal collection. Then give me what were the options again? <laughs> <laughs> One five thousand dollar card, ten five hundred dollar. I want card. the ten five hundred dollar card. Okay. Any reason? Like, is that kind um, of where you're playing around right now? When you're when well, you're you know, I'm stuff? kind of thinking of my Paul Heyman collection. Like, I, I would like to have, like, I, I've said this before. Like the super the super fractor of the 2014 tops chrome went up. And I was like, oh, that's a nice card. But yeah, like I'm not going to spend $3,000 on it. The 2023 select one of one is on eBay right now. It's $1,500. I have it on my watch list, but I'm like, I'm not going to buy that card. Right. You know, I like the 2014 Tops Chrome. I would love to have 10 of the gold refractor more so than the one super refractor. So yeah, I... That's kind of why I just like they're really nice cards that not everybody has, but it's not like ridiculous. Like, well, I'm the only person that has this. Like, so I would rather have, you know, more of those really nice ones that most collectors don't have. Good answer. EP, how about you, I buddy? The, I think this answer is going to surprise you guys, but I'm going 10, $500 cards as well. I wow. own. Listen, here's, here's, the, here's, the, here's the bottom line. I own way more than five thousand. I have tens of thousands of one dollar cards, and <laughs> I will continue true. to buy, continue to buy them at twenty twenty five hundred cards in, in a lot or twelve hundred cards in a lot because I know I'm going to keep like ten of them. And I can sell the other ones and continue to 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 to, to move these cards around and ha get cool cards. But I I, I don't play in that five hundred dollar range. So if I somebody if I if I just had that kind of money, I would definitely get like I would I would grab a couple like really really crazy Griffey cards. But that's not I, again. That's not really what what my. You could have a really I, nice Griffey collection with ten five hundred dollars. Yeah, like yeah. I like I I know what it's like that five thousand one dollar cards. It's awesome. I I love them. But like mm -hmm. I already I already have that, and like I'm th th thinking of this in terms of like my my, my, my collection. Like that, I would uh, that would be, be be cool to be in that in that range. But no. EP, I swear I was actually going to take this one to like dime cards and see how many <laughs> I could get for five thousand dollars <laughs> just for you. Wow. But yeah, that, that answer surprised me. I thought we yeah, were going to have too. three completely different answers, but all three of us surprisingly the same. I would, I would also. <laughs> wow. I thought you'd take the $5,000. Card. I, I thought about it. And then I was like, you know what? These, these pickets are a little over 500, but depend, you know, you negotiate them, whatever the picket Marinos, like that's kind of like my Paul Heyman card right now. Like mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sure if the one of one came out, I'd be like, Oh man. What do I do? What do I do? <laughs> but like, for the most part, give me a, like the silver one, which is not shown here because I'm sending it back to BGS, but the, the silver one, um, that's my favorite one. It's out of 25 and you can get it for about 500 bucks. So yeah, I, I, I think kind of because of Mike's reasoning, uh, I'm with, I'm with you guys, but I'm shocked. That answer shocks me. <laughs> Yeah, me too. So many ways. The thing is, if I didn't, or if I didn't have so many tens of thousands of those one dollar cards, like I might yeah, think think differently. Yeah. But like I already yeah. have so many of them, and like I, I mean, ones that I love as well. But I'm just yeah, it's fair. But yeah, ten thousand more would be like okay. I just have more <laughs> right. clutter. So no, how me. much fun would you have going through those initially? Oh, I, oh, oh, if you're talking about a fun level for as far as sorting, like give me, I'll take give me the five thousand. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, next one in in honor of in honor of Rick, our guy Rick. We love Rick, love Rick. here. 
All right. Pack pulled autograph, which we know there's some issues there, right? Or authenticated autograph. Mm, one I like that was, this one. One that was I like signed. this one. You didn't see it signed. It's just you're buying it off of eBay, and it's in a BGS holder that says authentic or PSA that says authentic. Which would you rather have? We're going to start with EP, the pack pulled autograph, or the one that PSA or BGS deemed authentic that someone pack else pulled, got autographed. Pack, pack pulled, pulled all day, every day. Like I, my collection, my collection and my collect, my hobby, like this, my hobby journey has been opening cards. And when you get pull an auto, even if it's somebody crappy, I mean, not to say that people like low rent people are crappy. I hate. I'm sorry about Take that. That's got but, coming. Yeah, oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. But, he, 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 but I'm one that isn't a, a star player. We'll say instead. Like it's still a little bit. You get a little bit of a dopamine boost when you still hit that that auto. It's still, still cool. And that's um, I, I that's more exciting to me than buying a an auto that, that was been authenticated on eBay or whatever. Okay. Very good. Give me the experience. Answer. So. All right, Mike. Authenticated by Rick isn't an option. No, that's not an option. It's either okay. BGS and it, okay. hell, okay. I might even throw in Fair quick enough. opinion. Okay, <laughs> quick okay. opinion authenticated. No. By the way, did you hear the pop Rick got when he came out on SmackDown last week? Pretty good. <laughs> um, but the Rick. Yeah, I'm I'm pack pulled to EP. Like I, I shouldn't say this, but like if it's pack pulled, it really doesn't matter if it's real or not, right? <laughs> like uh, is that the deal like but seriously Unless though leaf pack pool then psa will send it yeah that's true yeah seriously though like i i know not everything that they get is authentic but i feel like a good portion of it is and you know I, like I, I have no like I don't have any reservations if I pulled like one of the old like John Elway or Dan Marino cards back in the nineties out of a product like that it was real or like the Mickey Mantle out of that ninety one score. Like I feel like it was real, and like we know that the authentication service they're not perfect. They are not the be all end all. Mm -hmm. Anybody that thinks just because an autograph says it is or isn't real by PSA or BGS that that is the truth like you're fooling yourself they're they're that's a very inexact science and you know we've seen the chasing cardboard stuff like they tell you one thing in a quick opinion and they tell you another thing when they authenticate it exactly. and we don't know if it's really real or not anyway nobody knows if anything that's slabbed is real or not Everybody has a story of, well, I got this in person, yet PSA or BGS is saying it, they can't mm -hmm. authenticate it, which is yep. BS. And that happens a lot. So, yeah. you know, that you cannot take them as the authority. I'm going to trust that the, the card companies themselves hopefully are doing a better job not everything is just a role sent to people to sign you you're gonna have some people that are like give me the money but my friends sign this for me but I, i'd like to First think that against. yeah i would like to think though that for the most part athletes should hope hopefully understand that you know this is for stuff for your fans to want to and here i go again being mr bright side but yeah like <laughs> they they should the athlete themselves should take pride in the fact that this is going to go on a card that somebody who is a fan of me that is part of the reason I'm able to have this privilege of having this great job that I have and making the life that I have out of it like let's hope that most of the people a higher percentage of the athletes are going to be I need to sign this than the percentage that PSA and BGS get right or wrong so. We'll never see the data, but I, I trust the companies more than I trust the BGS. And I, I absolutely, absolutely do. For too. me, absolutely. that's what it was going to come down to. All that stuff I just said was that EP. Yeah, yeah. I said it in a ten-minute you know dialogue, <laughs> and you just threw it out there. But yes, that's, yeah, that yeah. that's exactly what I was going to say. EP, like I have more faith that an entire company is not going to get this wrong, whereas some guy who maybe had a bad day on the way to work gets it wrong you know so yeah. i that's i'm i'm with you guys pack pulled it feels safer but i know there's a lot of people that hunt those non pack pulled autos mm -hmm. hey, you do you oh, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's just mm -hmm. it sounds like it's it's really not for us all right last question we're going to go ultra modern i'm going to put you guys mm -hmm. in the spot a little bit okay 
It's going to be a little this, that, or the other. Which one, if you had to add one of these cards of your favorite current player to your PC, you can't sell it and you have to display it. This bad boy is going to be on the shelf behind me. It's going to be in Mike's case. It's going to be an EP's mess behind him. All right. <laughs> your favorite player, a Kaboom, a Downtown, or a Color Blast. You got to pick one of those of your favorite okay. player to display behind you. They're all, for those of you who watch our channel who have no idea about Ultra Modern, we love you, by the way. These are case hits in certain Ultra Modern products that get a lot of a lot of the kids today excited. They're not for us, <laughs> but I'm going to I'm going to leave it to you guys. Mike, you're the first one to dive into this terrible question. Which 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 of those short prints are you going after and display them? one is easy for me because I'm going color blast. I I actually kind of like those cards. I think they're they're way more attractive looking than a kaboom and definitely a a downtown so easy decision for me i'm gonna take a color blast because i i do like that i think most of those look pretty cool in my opinion i don't yeah. i don't really collect anybody if paul Heyman had a prism color blast i would own one so i Fair. i don't know if i'd own the kaboom like i just don't like them so yeah color blast easy for me all right how about you ep i you I'm going to workshop this with, with you guys, but for, for the first one, I got to say that you ever seen how these, these cards aren't for us. I, I don't know if I've ever seen a color blast. I'm sure I've seen one, but I can't, I, if you, if you put a bunch of cards up there, I would have to guess which one is the color blast. Color blast is probably the choice because of what Mike said, but out of the two that I let, do know, let me explain it. Take a okay. white card uh -huh. with the, the player that you like uh -huh. a picture got of it. them on the got card it. with like action shot this cover usually it's just oh, yeah, that yeah. Out. It was like but it's Photoshop. not a photo it's yeah. not there's no yeah. photography right it's yeah. like hard. but and it is like of... like different colors shooting out from behind the player on a I mean, white so color. that's probably my choice but uh, since i don't know that i am going to go through there too and then okay. that's a, da, da, down to uh, i can't even say it i can't do it so i gotta i gotta go kaboom with my other one uh, kaboom is probably closest to like a prism, i'm surprised right? you can say, say kaboom so easily kaboom is easy down to uh, <laughs> it's just i can't wow. i can't do it kaboom, kaboom, like okay with kaboom. no they're they're awful there's they're, they're like a rip off of a really good card that was probably made by another company somewhere they don't even have good artwork on them no right it's, it's like the thing yeah. about the kabooms that i thought ep you may pick that one that mm -hmm. was kind of my guess for you was because they're very similar to prism, prism like yeah yep. like mm -hmm. a bad knockoff of pacific right. prism from back in the day so, so i could stomach I, that I, yeah yeah so you can stomach that I'm going to throw a curveball for my answer, boys. Oh, no. Because I said it's your favorite player, and they're doing a card of your favorite player. Oh, no. If I oh, could no. Get, if I could get a Kenny Pickett, and I'm going to cheat a little because I'm the host. They're not downtowns <laughs> in the college program or the college uh, pro products. They are called on campus, and they have campus stuff behind the player. If I could get a Kenny Pickett, on campus, I would do it. That would be my answer. Super specific. Otherwise, I'm probably with Mike with the color blast. But yes, Kenny Pickett on campus, aka the downtown. Give me a Kenny Pickett downtown. I am ready for it. Forbes Avenue, baby. Downtown. Get the cathedral learning back there. I am in. I am in. Can I just ask, out of all the Kenny, Pick Kenny Pickett cards they made, how did they not make it on campus? <laughs> like they didn't make on campus this year. Of course okay. they did. Oh, the one why? year I wanted. But why? I don't know. <laughs> I, don't I don't understand. Know. And they didn't. Wow. They, they do sometimes. They do veterans. And I thought, oh, maybe there's a Larry Fitzgerald one that would have all that stuff from Pitt behind it. They didn't make a Larry Fitzgerald one, so I was I was very very bummed out. But yes, that would be my choice if if they did make one of those. Yes. So there it I'm is. Sorry. All right, boys. I know it wasn't as good as EP's episode last week, <laughs> but I'm hoping people enjoy it. Please answer below what you would do in those five uh, scenarios. I think I think that's it, boys. We ready to do some lineups now. We got to get to fantasy football. Do some lineups quick. We do. Sounds yep. good. All right. All right, boys. We'll see you next week. See ya. See ya.